How was asbestos formed in nature? Asbestos started 443 million years ago, was the estimate, and it began at temperatures as high as 1,200 degrees Celsius, which is about 2,200 Fahrenheit. And it happened during what the period they call the tectonic uplift. That's when mountains were made. So the mountain ranges that we all know now, where we can name whatever the mountain range you live closest to, that was made about the time asbestos was starting to be made. Now this is how an old film from the US Bureau of Mines in Johns Manville explains the creation of asbestos beneath the Earth's surface. Beneath the Earth's then constantly changing crust, molten rock flowed and burned under tremendous heat and pressure, striving to find release. Crust was torn by subterranean upheaval. Molten rock spewed upward. In time, millions of years of time, the molten rock in these crevasses cooled and hardened. Then the hardened rock itself was beset by further disturbances that often left it heavily fissured. Theory says that through these fissures flowed hot, mineral-bearing waters and gases. And as the Earth spun off more millions of years, they crystallized. And this is what a vein of asbestos actually looks like. The arrow here is pointing to a vein of chrysotile asbestos. This is a European sample of asbestos. That's why it has the European coin there. And if you see where that vein is, if you were to walk up to it, you might think, could I pull some of that asbestos out with my bare hands? And the answer is yes, you absolutely could. Let's take a look. So you can see this is a nice old time silent movie that's about 100 years old that was filmed with the US government through the Bureau of Mines and the Johns Manville Corporation, which was the largest asbestos company in the world. It's going to show you what a vein of asbestos looks like in nature. So there you can see the gentleman has walked up to the vein of asbestos and he is literally pulling it apart with his fingers.